Europe is home to some of the most colossal soccer stadiums, iconic for hosting thrilling matches and impassioned crowds. Among the giants is Camp Nou in Barcelona, Spain, boasting the largest seating capacity on the continent. Wembley Stadium in London, England, stands as a historic arena with a rich soccer heritage, while the Signal Iduna Park in Dortmund, Germany, is renowned for its vibrant atmosphere. These colossal structures not only showcase architectural marvels, but also serve as hallowed grounds for the passionate football culture that defines European soccer. Let's get to it. 1. Camp Nou Camp Nou holds interesting stories as big as its size, and it's currently the biggest football ground in Spain and Europe with 99,354 people capacities. The music app, Spotify, teamed up with Camp Nou and gave it a fancy new name, Spotify Camp Nou. It's worth a jaw-dropping $310 million. Since 1957, when they completed the construction of this big field, it has served as a home for Barcelona's home games. Camp Nou has held two Champions League finals. Among other great events, the stadium also held five FIFA World Cup games in 1982 as well as the 1992 Summer Olympics final. And guess what? Camp Nou is having a renovation which begins in 2023. It's being spruced up, like a new coat of paint on a beloved playground. 2. Wembley Stadium As a fan, have you ever thought what it takes to construct a remarkable football stadium? Aside from being one of the largest football stadiums in the United Kingdom and Europe, Wembley Stadium's architectural genius is truly stunning. Wembley Stadium appears to have been created by a group of creative minds, including Architects Foster, plus Partners and Hockey Sport, now known as Populous, who collaborated with competent engineers from Mott Stadium Consortium. These three companies collaborated to make Wembley a reality. In 2007, it cost a stunning £798 million pounds to build this stadium. Wembley can contain 90,000 fans, all protected from the elements by a sliding roof that doesn't close up. The stadium also has a north roof and a big retractable roof on the other side, making it the longest unsupported roof structure in the world. 3. Santiago Bernabeu Stadium Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is a fantastic soccer pitch where Real Madrid, one of the world's largest soccer teams, plays their home games. Do you know why it's named Santiago Bernabeu? It is named after Santiago Bernabeu, a famous player and legendary Real Madrid president. The stadium has a capacity of around 83,000 people and is Spain's second largest. The Santiago Bernabeu Stadium has hosted the final of the UEFA Champions League four times in 1957, 1969, 1980, and 2010. This amazing football stadium also created South American history by hosting the Copa Libertadores final. Finally, this stadium hosted the finals of both the UEFA Euro and the FIFA World Cup. 4. Croke Park Stadium Croke Park Stadium is located in Dublin, Ireland and is dedicated to Gaelic games such as hurling and Gaelic football. It is the headquarters of the Gaelic Athletic Association, GAA, a popular sport in Ireland. From 1991 to 2005, this stadium underwent a comprehensive overhaul, expanding and improving to accommodate around 82,000 spectators. This makes it the fourth largest stadium in Europe although it is not typically utilized for the type of soccer we are accustomed to. It has held several incredible events, including the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2003 Olympics. Even the world-famous Irish musical group Westlife sold out the venue in just five minutes. 5. Twickenham Stadium Twickenham Stadium is known as the home of England rugby. It's the center of all things rugby in Twickenham. Owned and run by the RFU, Rugby Football Union, this stadium is a year-round hub for rugby action. It's home to the English Rugby Union team. This stadium hosts lots of other rugby matches, both big and small. The World Rugby 7 Series happens there, along with the finals of the World Rugby Women's 7 Series. 
Twickenham even hosts Harlequin's Big Game during the festive season. And if that's not enough, there's the nail-biting varsity match between Oxford and Cambridge, the intense Army-Navy match, and the exciting English school's Daily Mail Cup final. 6. Stade de France The Stade de France is a large stadium located just north of Paris in Saint-Denis, France. The French national teams use this stadium for international matches, as well as rugby games. With a capacity of around 80,000, it is Europe's largest stadium, accommodating more than 78,000 fans. During other events, such as soccer matches, the running track is hidden beneath the football pitch, resulting in a dynamic area that changes with the game. The stadium also hosted the UEFA Champions League final when the location was moved due to Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine. It is one of just two venues in the world that has held both a Football World Cup final and a Rugby World Cup final. 7. Westfalen Stadion This stadium goes by several names, but it is officially known as Signal Iduna Park, while it is also known as Borussia Dortmund Stadion in some soccer competitions. And do you know where Westfalen Stadion came from? It's an homage to the historical area of Westphalia. The Westfalen Stadion is a well-known stadium in Europe. It is a magnificent field that can accommodate around 81,000 spectators. This is Germany's largest stadium and the seventh largest in Europe. Only Camp Nou and the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium have a larger capacity. This stadium also has a museum called the Borussium, where you can learn about Borussia Dortmund's history. It has hosted matches in both the 1974 and 2006 FIFA World Cups and major club competitions like the UEFA Cup Final. 8. San Siro San Siro is Italy's largest football stadium and hosts the home games of AC Milan and Inter Milan. And it is one of Europe's largest stadiums with capacity for 80,000 football fans. The stadium was named in honor of Giuseppe Meazza, a football icon who won the World Cup twice in 1934 and 1938 while playing for both Inter Milan and AC Milan. This stadium has hosted World Cup matches, including three in 1934 and six in 1990, as well as the UEFA Euro 1980 event. It also held four European Cup finals, 1965, 1970, 2001, and 2016. According to a report, the San Siro will be part of the opening ceremony for the 2026 Winter Olympics of Milan and Cortina d'Ampezzo. 9. Luzhniki Stadium The Luzhniki Stadium is a gigantic playground with 81,000 seats. It is Russia's largest soccer stadium and one of Europe's top 10. This pitch has witnessed history unfold on its grounds. It served as the main field for the 1980 Olympics, hosting the opening and closing ceremonies as well as the football tournament's final match. This stadium hosted both the UEFA Cup Final in 1999 and the UEFA Champions League Final in 2008. Remember the 2018 FIFA World Cup? The Luzhniki Stadium held seven matches, including the opening and closing games. Spartak Moscow and CSKA Moscow have also played at the stadium, which is now used by the Russian national football team. 10. Allianz Arena This is Munich's stadium where the Bavarian and German national teams play. With a seating capacity of 70,000 for supporters during international matches and 75,000 for local games, it is the world's first stadium with an exterior that changes colors like a chameleon, turning red, blue, or whatever color you can imagine. It is also Germany's second largest stadium, behind only the Westfalen Stadion in Dortmund. This stadium has hosted concerts, American football games, and even a museum for Bayern Munich, known as FC Bayern Erlebniswelt. These top 10 largest soccer stadiums in Europe are more than simply locations to watch a game. They are arenas where emotions run high. They've captured fantastic events, including World Cup matches and tremendous finals. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.